Welcome to this video which will show you how river locks work. Between Amsterdam and Budapest we cruise for a total of 1,500 kilometres along the Amsterdam Rhine Canal, the Rhine River, the Main River, the Main Danube Canal and the Danube River. There are 68 locks between Amsterdam and Budapest. The ship captain has to wait to be informed when the lock water level is the same as in his river. When the gate is fully open, a green light will indicate it is safe to enter the lock. The captain steers the ship so it doesn't scrape the lock sides and to provide adequate clearance for the rear lock gate to close again. The ship is tied to the side of the lock so it can move up or down but not back or forward. Usually this is done with gravity but some water locks have to also use pumps and storage reservoirs. For simplicity I am showing a lock gate which goes down. Some others go up or have swinging gates. This procedure is reversed if cruising downstream. Water coming in below from the upstream river. Further on we had to wait for another vessel to exit before we entered the lock. The gate goes down at this lock. My video is speeded up here. We then had to wait for a green light before proceeding. The light is now green. After untying the ship from the side of the lock, we continued on our river journey. The main Danube Canal up on the Continental Divide in Germany connects the main river at Bamberg to the Danube River at Kalheim. This man-made canal now allows ships to travel between the Rhine Delta on the North Sea in the Netherlands and the Danube Delta on the Black Sea near Ukraine. We were travelling from left to right up to the 406 metre high peak of the main Danube Canal. The average lock rise or fall for the whole cruise was 5 metres. The river length of the main Danube Canal between Bamberg and Kalheim is 171 kilometres. I have speeded up this section. In the three locks approaching the canal peak, the rising water will take us up 24.67 metres. As there is no river at the top of the mountain, they use reservoirs to recycle most of the lock water. This is one of the huge reservoirs used to provide extra water for efficient operation of the three locks requiring a 24 metre rise or fall in water level. After you've seen 20 locks operate, you tend to relax a bit more at the next ones. I hope you enjoyed this short video showing how river locks work. In the description below is a YouTube link to this related video, Awesome River Cruise. Also in the description below is a YouTube link to another related video, Castles Beside Rhine River. If you like this video, so may your friends. Subscribe to be advised of my next awesome adventures video.